So this was at a cave in Kentucky. Um, it's a public cave. They have tours. Uh, my friend went on one of the tours, and uh, the guy said that we could come back. Um, just follow the same. Don't climb around in there, um, and then wash your shoes off before you go in, just to prevent uh, diseases from spreading to the bats. So this is some of the animals we found inside the cave. So this here is a Kentucky red salamander. Um, they're pretty uncommon in, from what I've seen anyway. Um, they're a good sized salamander for the area. Um, this guy was about six inches. It doesn't really look like it in the video. And uh, I wasn't really trying to catch him, just film him more so. But uh, he was pretty quick underwater. So I wasn't really able to that well. And this one here is, uh, I think it's northern slimy salamander. Um, and he was living in a pile of logs that washed into the cave. And this here is some of the bats in the cave. Um, the reason that uh, mainly that don't, people don't want you going in different caves is because uh, white nose syndrome. It's a fungus that uh, is originally from China, but it spreads around through bat populations in caves. And it ends up wiping them out, so that's why you want to wash your shoes before going in different caves. And here's some cave crickets, or camel crickets. It's kind of hard to see them in this video, but uh, you can tell how long their legs are compared to a regular cricket. I come across these guys pretty often too outside of caves, just in rotting logs and stuff like that. Here's a little update on the rays. Um, you can see the female trying to get the male away right there with her tail. Um, they're still trying to breed. Um, I don't think they have yet, because so, the male's still trying, but uh, hopefully soon.